when, as, as a New Yorker, it, it, with really not paying a whole lot of attention to city politics, but one of the ways throughout my life that I've judged how good a mayor is or bad is, is how does he deal with the real estate lobby and how does he deal with the cops? Exactly. And, and Bill de Blasio has basically hitched his wagon to both the real estate industry and the NYPD. Uh, the recent revelations of his dealings with Jonah Rucknitz, who's a leading campaign contributor, the fact that he uh, used City Hall to grant Rucknitz special favors because of Rucknitz's campaign contributions uh, to uh, de Blasio's mayoral campaign uh, four years ago, uh, the fact that as soon as he was elected, Bill de Blasio turned his back on uh, the police accountability movement. Mm -hmm. uh, there are uh, quite a few organizations now that are involved in an attempt to hold the New York Police Department, the NYPD, accountable for uh, police harassment and brutality, which is pervasive in this city and in this country. Um, the fact that he turned his back on uh, animal welfare uh, movement uh, activists after getting into office, after having promised to um, uh, end, uh, to abolish the horse carriage trade industry. Right, he didn't get rid of it, did yeah. he? No, didn't, do, didn't lift a finger as soon as he was elected. He completely and conveniently forgot about the fact that those people helped get him elected. So, um, you know, on every level we see corruption um, at City Hall with our mayor, Bill de Blasio, uh, who's running for re-election this year with our governor, Andrew Cuomo, who's running for re-election next year, who has surrounded himself with corporate lobbyists, who's gotten more money from big money interests from Wall Street than any other governor uh, in the history of the state of what New York. What does he want to do, Cuomo? I mean, what, well, what, he's running for president, doing? obviously. And so he's trying to build up the biggest war chest possible. And how do you do that? You appeal to the big money interests. You see that with um, Democrats who are lining up to run for president as well as Republicans. You see that with uh, Kamala Harris, with Cory Booker, with Deval Patrick, um, all the uh, potential uh, presidential candidates in the Democratic as well as Republican parties are lining up uh, at the trough. You know, uh, the big money interests are funding them all. And uh, as the old saying goes, he who pays the piper calls the tune. 